Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel Nemes Point. In this video, we'll show you how to design a birthday card or birthday wish card in Microsoft Word. This is the particular design in black and white combination we are going to design and I'll show you every step by step design procedure which we can follow and replicate this particular design. So let's start. First we need a blank document and then we will get rid of the margins. So we go to layout, margins, custom margins and set all the margins to zeros. Once you do that, press on OK and if you get any prompt message just simply ignore that. There you are. So we will start the design by inserting a shape. So we go to insert, shape, rectangular shape, click and draw. Go to align, center, align, middle. Next, we are going to go to insert one more time, then text box, click and draw a text box, click and draw. Let's type, you are invited to the Let's format this section, increase the font size, adjust the text box, shape fill, no fit, shape outline, no outline. Select the text, change the color. Let's make the background to black. Go to shape outline, no outline. You, we copy this text box, paste it here, and let's type birthday party. Select and let's format it. The font style will get the decay and we put the thing is a kujis of kuos with the iron. Font style will act in the decay is now kujis, kujis, kujis. Font style will protect the decay. We font style at the show level. When I'm cursive type it, the actor. It is the only thing I have to follow it and to set a one day. The nature. Eda Eda I act as you could just read up our call. Who's here? Report. Hello, to you can touch your chin of good yet. As a trigger. I put a little bit of tears. Typhoon and Korea, Tapo Select could be part of the world of the Welch and Nana. I cannot eat a bola so little. Have an apple, Welch and can record to a gem to food. Let's change the font and increase the size. Adjust the text box. Change the color to this one. Again, we need another text box. So simply copy this text box, copy and paste. And here you can include any name, like any particular name whose birthday you are going to celebrate. So let's type John Doe. Eat, 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 eat. 
include the details of the birthday and timing. Wait, wait, wait. Make sure to play with the font size and fonts color to incorporate with your design style then again we go to insert shape rectangular shape we draw this box in order to insert a picture so we have already downloaded picture and you can also go to google and search any related picture to use in your card adjust the size Go to shape outline, no offering. Fantastic. Now, uh, the birthday party needs a venue where the program is going to get organized. So again, we take a text box and we are going to use that text box to include the venue. Far TV. So type here, like 4882 Adam, Adam's Avenue. Font words. Read. Adjust the text box. Decrease the size a bit. In the next line, we are going to include Maryland MD2153. This is an editable file, so you can download this particular design and include whatever address you want to. Make sure to include it, yeah, rather middle it. Let's adjust the text boxes that we can include more details in it. So we are going to just decrease the size a bit and kill the extra spaces and we need another text box. Type R is BP James Alfred. And the contact details. Type a name, Jim Salfred. You can type any other's name who you want the contact person to be. In case any guest who needs to contact someone to reach the venue, they can contact that person, particular person to get the clarification or instruction. We have already uh, included all the details. Now we'll just simply try to beautify this card that uh, it has a birthday effect. So we select this particular background, go to shape fill, gradients, more gradients, then gradient fill. We have four points already. Three, we'll take three points by deleting one and then we'll go to change, play with the colors. Okay. You're free to play and use any color combination you want. And this is totally up to you. You can simply uh, keep it black and white or play with black and gold 
or any other color combination for that matter. Once you have that, we are going to use a border and some balloons. So we go to shape, we take a rectangular shape, click and draw. If the shape goes outside of the canvas, do not worry, it will only go to incorporate or take the portion which is inside the canvas. So send to back and change the color if you want, you can change the color. Well, let's use gold. gold. gold you can use gradient effects or you can simply use a mono color mono or single color we decide to use the gradient effect and we have already almost completed the whole design we'll just include uh, some balloons in it uh, to finish the design portion take a text box rather a, a rectangular box and then go to file then include a balloon adjust the box size and then we will keep moving that to other places first get rid of the outlines and click and keep placing wherever you want to we'll reduce the size a bit looks nice now copy this value you can change the color of the balloon as well if you want to and I'll show you how to do that later on first let me get more balloons here then go to chef in picture go to this effect, picture effect, picture correction, picture color, color, and from here you can change the balloon color as well. Let's use the green. Oh, sorry. Change the color to white or gray take another balloon and paste it here looks nice just keep it too we'll keep it too yeah it looks fantastic we need another one we will keep here let's make it a bit smaller and there you are we have like finalized the design uh, by including some balloons in it and uh, this is it so if you like this kind of design in microsoft board and would like to get more upcoming microsoft board design tutorial so please subscribe our channel and Please give this video a thumbs up as well. So thanks for watching and we'll catch, catch you in our next video.